This episode of Pet Point starts right now. This episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Netflix. Go to www.netflix.com slash pen to get your free trial membership. There's this uh, article that just came out. This article uh, in some science magazine about the parting of the Red Sea could have been wind. Could have been wind that caused the parting of the Red Sea. That there are certain meteorological phenomena. Uh, I think I fucked up the word meteorological, and I also fucked up phenomena. There are some weather things that uh, happen, so this guy claims, that could lead to the parting of the Red Sea. The wind could blow hard enough that the Red Sea could part and you could walk through it. That's this guy's idea. And the guy is some creationist dipshit who's, you know, calls himself a scientist because he's a computer guy. Not that computer guys aren't scientists. Although, I'll tell you, when you put the word science, Rob Pike pointed this out, when you put the word science at the end of anything, it's probably not a science. Computer science. Behavioral science. Physics isn't physics science, okay? Math isn't math science. Um, Although some people would argue that math is a different kind of science. But anyway, I'm not going to get into that argument. The Red Sea was parted by wind. It was wind that parted it, so it's really possible. So it's an apology for the Bible. Maybe the Bible is absolutely correct. The Red Sea really did part, and here's the proof of it, that we have the wind. It's supposed to be a miracle! This is the thing that makes me insane, is that what they're doing is they're weakening their own arguments. They're weakening their own arguments tremendously, because the idea of religion, as I see it, if you're going to believe in miracles, you're supposed to be believing in shit that is impossible. That's why they call it a fucking miracle. If it's something that just happens, if it's, you know, the toast popping up in the toaster, that's not a fucking miracle. So what this is showing is the religious have become so desperate to cling on to something that they can believe that they are taking away their own miracles by no longer calling them a miracles. So when you say, here's how the, the, the stick and the snake could have worked, here's, that's the atheist argument. If you, want, if you want to make an argument against this shit, now of course the atheist argument, the sensible one is, this shit didn't happen, they just made the shit up and wrote it up, I mean, hundreds of years later from just rumors. I mean, Elvis Presley has only been dead, what, 40 years? Less. And uh, I can't do the math in my head. He's been dead like 35, nah, 34. He's been dead a few decades. And still people lie their asses off about him. Most of the stuff in the Bible was written, you know, hundreds of years after. They're just making this shit up. You don't, <sighs> but anyway. If you were going to argue, say the Bible was a reliable source of information, which it's fucking not, but say it is. If it were a reliable source of information, then, um, then an atheist would want to explain, well, this is reliable, this is what they say, they talk about the parting of the Red Sea, it's not a miracle after all, it's just a lot of wind, a lot of wind. That's what the atheist is supposed to argue. The fact that religious people are making atheist arguments about miracles and taking away the idea of miracles means they are desperate. Religion is going away, I just wish it was going away faster. And now I'm going to tell you who brought you this episode of Pen Point so you can boycott them. Go to www.netflix.com slash pen to get your free trial membership. You should be using Netflix, man. You really should. With more than 12 million members, Netflix is the world's largest subscription service, streaming movies and TV episodes over the internet and sending DVDs by mail. For $8.99 a month, Netflix members can instantly watch unlimited TV episodes and movies streamed to their TVs and computers and can receive unlimited DVDs delivered quickly to their homes. With Netflix, there are never any due dates or late fees. And that's for sure. They get them to you quick and you can keep them forever. I still got one of the Monkeys episodes. One of the Monkeys DVDs that I've been having forever that I'm finally going to get around to watching because I love Mike Nesmith. Members can select from a 
growing library of titles that can be watched instantly and a vast array of titles on DVD. Among the large and expanding base of devices that can stream movies and TV episodes from Netflix right to members' TVs are Microsoft's Xbox 360, Sony's PS3 game consoles, and the Nintendo Wii console. Find movies you love easily. I watch them right here on my iPhone and also on my iPad. That's where I watch them. And I stream them directly and they never glitch, they never skip. It always looks beautiful to me. It's just, it's just amazing. I mean, this is the part of living in the future. Netflix is living in the future. I mean, I've got my two kids, all I need is my flying car, and with Netflix, I'm living in the future. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you get DVDs by mail in about one business day. Watch as many movies as you want, shipping is free, and there are no late fees or due dates. Unlimited plans start at just $8.99 a month. As a new member and a PenPoint viewer, you can get a free trial membership. Go to Netflix slash pen and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so they know that we sent you. So if you want to have a miracle, it's supposed to be impossible. If you want to right side, oh, the whole thing is just too fucking stupid. I'm sorry I even brought it up. You know, the Red Sea, first of all, did not part. And if it did part, it wasn't a miracle. That's the atheist point of view. Good. Uh, I got a, I'm going to do, uh, you know, viewer mail, I guess, is what I'm going to do. I got this uh, email from uh, TraceLight24 wrote, uh, I would like to know your opinions on downloading torrents online as well as using peer-to-peer -peer software for sharing music, etc. if you believe it's hurting the music industry and the artists in this industry. Um, well, I, uh, yeah. 